The Bitcoin Spot ETFs had their second highest days of inflows ever and that all while Warren Buffet's Berkshire Hathaway is 99% down against Bitcoin. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, talking about the Bitcoin charts, talking about the news, giving an answer to a question, of course, also an inspirational quote and much more. So watch the video till the end. Let's quickly jump into the news first. Bam. If we are talking about investing, a lot of people always talk about Warren Buffet because he's one of the icons when it comes to the investing in this industry. And yes, I agree, Warren Buffet is an icon, but at the moment he is very negative about Bitcoin and he should have been positive about Bitcoin. Why? Because if you look now at Berkshire Hathaway against Bitcoin, they went down with 99%. So he would have been better off by selling a little bit of those stocks and buying Bitcoin, then he would have outperformed the market. At the moment, he is underperforming the market. So I think this is one of the biggest mistakes of Warren Buffet that he didn't buy Bitcoin and he didn't believe in Bitcoin. An intelligent investor like Warren Buffet should understand the full concept of that digital gold of the 21st century. So that's why I know Berkshire Hathaway is down 99% against Bitcoin. In 2015, the Berkshire Hathaway stock, one stock was 1,000 Bitcoin. Now, it's only 9.1 Bitcoin. So that makes very clear that it fell almost down with 100% if you put that stock of Berkshire Highway against Bitcoin. 1,000 Bitcoins to now 9.1 Bitcoin, and it won't take long that it will be 1,000 Bitcoins to 9.1 Bitcoin, and probably to 5 Bitcoins, and probably to 1 Bitcoin at the end, guys. At least if it doesn't crash in between, like a flash crash, because that is like 0.0111 Bitcoin or something like that. So I don't know why he's still calling Bitcoin red poison, Warren. Mr. Warren Buffet, yes, respect to you as an intelligent investor, but stop calling Bitcoin red poison. Maybe it's red poison to your stock, I understand that. Bitcoin is not the red poison, but I understand that you think it's red poison because it's outperforming your stock tremendously. Your stock is 99% down against Bitcoin. Please wake up and start to accumulate Bitcoin as well with Berkshire Hathaway. That is the way you outperform the market in this digital age with the digital gold of the 21st century. As of the 4th of June, guys, Bitcoin has a market cap of 1.3 trillion US dollar. With that market cap, it has a higher market cap as the whole Meta platform and also a higher market cap as Berkshire Hathaway. So Bitcoin at the moment already surpassed silver, already surpassed diamond, is bigger than Meta and is bigger than Berkshire Hathaway. So make sure Bitcoin becomes part of your portfolio. It is in the top nine of highest ranking market caps assets. It's huge. It's becoming the biggest asset ever in this new digital age that we have ahead of us. It's gonna be bigger than all of the assets. Yes, it's gonna be bigger than gold. And yes, in my opinion, it's also gonna be bigger than real estate, but then we are talking about like a few more cycles ahead of us. So for the number of people, Bitcoin is 1.36 trillion, MetaMask is 1.2 billion, and I think Berkshire Hathaway is somewhere around 899 million. So we have million, and then we have billion, and then we have Bitcoin with trillion, far ahead of both of those. So the Bitcoin spot ETFs on the 3rd of June had the second highest day of inflows ever, guys. We had an inflow of 886 million US dollar in the spot ETFs, which is the second highest day, guys. This is very positive for Bitcoin. More and more spot ETFs popping up all over the world. We have a spot ETF in the United States. We have a spot ETF in Canada. We now have a spot ETF in Hong Kong. We now have a spot ETF in Australia. And yes, also Thailand is joining the game. So more and more of these Bitcoin spot ETFs are popping up all over the world and it's attracting huge inflows into them. Now we had $886 million worth of Bitcoin being bought through the spot ETFs on the 3rd of June. That is massive. Let's quickly jump into the charts to see what is happening now to Bitcoin because of that. Bam. The first chart for the day, guys, is this four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see of course, clearly the buy signal over there, purple candle above the yellow stepping line, 
uh, we had the blue line above the white line the green area was massive and the green line was trying to get on top so yes that's a quadruple combination you could have taken that and now it's a sell signal uh, some people sell around the sell signal some people sell where we close down below the yellow stepping line it all depends on how you look at the resistance level okay 70k was a huge resistance so now we are retesting that 70k so mostly what i always say is when we break a resistance we come back to test the support before we take off so i would be a little bit more patient i would stay in this trade till the scandal closes if it doesn't close then it will bounce up and go higher and i will show you in the next couple of shots why i think it will go higher guys now if you zoom out to the daily chart we can see of course that we are still following that sloppy hand move you know we i told you guys we break out we test this pattern we come up now we are following that line now also if you look at this chart we can see kind of if you look and consider this as a head and this as a neck shoulder and this is the first shoulder then we have a head and shoulder pattern an inverse head and shoulder pattern that could lead as well to that same kind of jump let's see um, if we take this to the neckline over there that's the neckline and we would take that now up on top of that neckline to give you a target the target would be around 98,000 US dollars so yeah not like straight up but something like this that could be the result of that inverse head and shoulder but I will show you this later on a very interesting chart what the targets could be of all those patterns that we see now at the moment in the Bitcoin charts and let me warn you they are very bullish so please be aware that's a very bullish time ahead you should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin every day now. But let me show you those charts. Also on that daily chart, guys, we can see here on the bottom, the MACD is turning green. We had a bullish crossover on the MACD. The MACD is turning green. The last time we did that was over there. And we had a move from all the way 57 again back to 70. So that's almost a 15K move. The last time we did that cross, we went from 57 to 70K, guys. That's a huge move. The time before that, let me see over here, for example, we went from 50K also to 70K. So every time when we see these moves, only here, this very small one that didn't happen, it was just a small move, it went from 59 to 66, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying small, 7K candles. But this is bullish. Every time, just look back in the past, that we made these crossovers, that was a very bullish moment on the daily chart. Over here, for example, we went from 37 all the way to 44. And over here, if you go further back, we went from 26 all the way to 35. So that's a 10K move, 10K move, 20K move, 20K move. Let's see, but it can be a huge move that we will see after this plays out, guys. Now let's check those other charts. Let's start with this chart, guys. On the 4th of June. 415 bitcoins were mined at that moment 12,508 bitcoins were bought only by the spot etfs only 450 new bitcoins and 12,500 new bitcoins being bought let that sink in every day the demand is a couple of thousand bitcoins and only 450 new bitcoins are coming to the market so you might now ask yourself, eh, where are these Bitcoins coming from? These Bitcoins coming from the miners. I will show you over here. Because this is where you can see that the balance in the miner wallets is going down. This is 2021. This is today. Look, from the bear market on, the miners have been selling. And look how steeply they have been selling lately. All those Bitcoins that they are selling over here are being sold to the spot ETS. These spot ETFs are not even probably directly buying on the market. They are buying OTC here from those miners directly. So they are not influencing the price yet. But the moment the miners are out of selling their Bitcoins, where are these spot ETFs going to buy their Bitcoins then? That's the question. And that is when the real supply shock will start. Because if the miners sold all their reserves, into the spot ETFs, into the exchanges, into the retail investors. That is the moment that there's not enough Bitcoin anymore for the demand because the demand will be growing because the price will be increasing. That is the moment that supply shock will lead into a massive price jump for Bitcoin. There's an inverted day chart, guys. Don't be shocked. So the lower price is on the top 
and the higher prices are here down that bottom guys so let that be clear guys on this inverted day chart you can see a couple of things of course we are coming down here with a pole of this beautiful bull flag but inside of bull flag we can see a head and shoulder pattern and we can see a cup and handle pattern now of course they all have a target and if you look at the targets of the head and shoulder that would be a target of around 78,000 US dollar. If we look at the target of the inverse cup and handle, that would be a target of 90,000 US dollar. And if we look at the target of that bear flag, then we are looking at a target above 100,000 US dollar. This will be like a 30K move, this will be a 20K move, this will be an 8K move. So all of the patterns that we see at the moment on the chart, and again, this is the inverse chart, but all of the patterns, if it's the bull flag, the cup and handle, or it's the inverse head and shoulders, all of these patterns are telling us we are going to see a huge jump in the price of Bitcoin. And if the target is 80K or 90K or 100K, it doesn't really matter. We are going up when we break out, out of these patterns, guys. Then the last chart for today, guys, the Bitcoin stock to flow model. This model is telling us that we will be following these red dots over there and we will reach this block somewhere over there in the next bull market top in 2025. And the block is from 100k all the way up to 500k to even a million in the next two bull markets. Because this line is going to extend, this is going to be an extended line from like four years. We're going to start here in 2024 it's going to take all the way to 2028. And in that period of time, we will reach levels of the price between 100K and the million dollar per Bitcoin. These are amazing targets for Bitcoin. And if we just look at the stock to flow model, then we should be reaching those levels. Every time at the halving, we start to go up again. And it is time to go up again because we are just past the halving. And from that halving, that next 12 months is always way up. It's going to go up, up, higher and higher and higher, guys. That's how it works. We are now here, 2024. Please don't forget that. The dots were here, we are now there. That is where the halving happened. Now from that halving, we will extend again to the top line. Somewhere in between 100k and 1 million US dollar. Amazing chart. Guys, if you want to trade all of it, then please use Bybit. Use the link down below. It has a starter reward bonus up to 30,000 US dollar. So when you register, deposit and trade. And yes, at the moment, till the 30th of June, you can win 100,000 US dollar in prizes. Guaranteed win. So you will always win. So you need to deposit and trade a little bit to win USDT, F1 tickets, new listing tokens and a funded account. So you can win a lot of prizes. 100k worth of prizes just by using the link to buy it and sign up today guys i hope you really enjoyed those charts guys and yes in the short term when it's volatile that is amazing times to trade guys i also took a trade bam you can see it over here i think almost 30 percent profits just with a simple trade because you can see bitcoin is dipping to a certain level and you know it's going to bounce again from a certain level so yes uh, you are going to take the trade and then yeah you make profit 30 percent if you want to learn a little bit more about trading and everything then go to the bitcoinfamily.com website and you will be able to join the VIP group over there. And by joining the VIP group, you will be educating yourself. But there's also courses, there's VIP signals, trading signals, uh, there is uh, pre investment opportunities, and there is much more. Just join it, just go to the website and check it out, guys. Long term, yes, we are exactly where we need to be with Bitcoin. The next 12 months will be explosive months. We will go up higher and higher and higher. Yes, always we go up a little bit in the beginning, then sideways, and then it starts. Bam, bam higher higher and i know we're all waiting for that but please be patient don't start to sell your bitcoins now because you have weak hands to all the strong hands there is not enough bitcoin to be bought by all those spot ETFs, by all the retail by all the institutional investors there is just not enough bitcoin being mined every day only 400 new bitcoins there's only a new supply of 400 new bitcoins every day the demand at the moment is a couple of thousand Bitcoins every day. This will lead to a massive supply shock and it will happen between now and 12 months, guys. So these next 12 months are going to be amazing, beautiful, bullish 12 months. 
you make sure you're in it. The crypto tip for today, guys, is always take profits. Nobody ever got poor of taking profits. And I know we are all greedy and you want to have more and more and more. But when you make a profit of 10% or 15% or even 7%, take some profits. You won't get poor of taking profits. You won't get filthy rich as well because you took profit too early maybe, but still you took profit. Just remind yourself to the fact that every time when you didn't take profit and when the price crashed down, you were like, ah, oh, shit, I should have taken profit. Now I'm making loss, blah, blah, blah. You know that feeling? Remind you to that feeling every time again and again and again. Because every time when you take profit and even if the price goes higher, you're like, oh, shit, I could have had more. But yeah, maybe I will get the next rate and I did have profit. And if you take profit and the price crashes down, that feeling of, wow, I timed the market right, I took some profit. That feeling, that positivity feeling, you need to get into that positive vibe to keep making profitable trades. If you go into that downward vibe, like, ah, oh, I'm not a good trader, ah, oh, I'm lost again, it won't make you better in trading. You need to be positive as well. You need to be positive in trading and about your skills as well. And to stay positive, you need to take some profits now and then. That gives you that boost of confidence. Yes, I am a good trader. Yes, I know how to time the market. So take profit. No one ever became poor of taking profits. So the crypto tip for the day is take profits whenever you can. The question for the day is, can Bitcoin survive a huge financial crisis? So yes, in my opinion, it can. Just like gold always survived all those financial crises, Bitcoin is also a long-term store of value to protect your capital against inflation, against wars and against, for example, a financial crisis. In a financial crisis, it's the fiat currencies that will crash down. Mostly the fiat currencies and some stocks. But the store of values that want to help the rich of the rich stay rich to protect their capital against that is, for example, gold or silver or Bitcoin now. That is now why all these spot ETFs, the banks, the institutional investors, all want their finger in Bitcoin. Because they all understand the power of the digital gold of the 21st century. They all understand they need gold because gold is going to protect them to that next financial crisis, if there ever is going to come in the next financial crisis. Because as long as all those banks, central banks, keep printing a shitload of dollars, keep printing a shitload of euros, there won't really be a financial crisis. They keep postponing that financial crisis by printing a shitload of dollars and euros. And by printing a shitload of dollars and euros, they give those dollars and euros to all those rich people, and those rich people keep buying Bitcoin with it. So in the end, if that financial crisis, the euro, the dollar will collapse, Bitcoin will still be there and exist and keep acting as a store of value for all those rich people, including me. <laughs> At that moment, probably, I will still be all of Bitcoin, so I won't have any problems with that crash. And when that happens, then maybe that will be the flippling of people understanding, ah, we should not be in dollars and euros. Look, all those people that were in Bitcoin, they are doing really fine now. They can still do their groceries. They don't need to be uh, asking for food coupons at the government and all that stuff. Oh, the Bitcoiners, they survived. And then maybe, maybe people will completely shift and leave all the dollars and euros behind and will start to use Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well. So for me, Bitcoin by now has already proven to be a store of value. You know, whatever happened, it was people banning Bitcoin or it was huge flu epidemics or whatever happened, Bitcoin survived all in Egypt. In every war, Bitcoin survived. Every economical crisis already, Bitcoin survived. Just remember, because of the pandemic, a huge crash was there as well. Bitcoin did survive. It bounced way quicker up than all the other stocks. So I don't believe that that will ever change the four-year cycle. If it will happen near the top, yes, the top won't be that high as normally. We will probably get a double top like we had last time. You know, that was when Chinese started to ban Bitcoin mining. That was the first top, then they start banning, bam, we dropped down and we came up for another top. So yes, the top could be lower because of that, but then also the bottom will be lower because the crash won't go that deep then as well. So it's very simple. I don't think that it changes the four-year cycle. It could change the top and the bottom, but it will not change the four-year cycle and the timing of when the top and the bottom will be. But that's my answer to your question. My life advice for the day, guys. A lot of people, when they wake up, they are directly grumpy and that influences your whole day. So what I would do every morning, if I would have that down feeling, every morning when you wake up, put on some stand-up comedian. 
Just put a stand-up comedian. Just on your earpods or your iPhone or your television, listen to a stand-up comedian every morning the moment you wake up. When you start to listen to a stand-up comedian, that will make you smile, that will make you laugh, that will make you like be very happy. Already in the morning, you're like, wow, you know, you, you know what humor and stand-up comedians does to you. Just start your day with that and you will be smiling your whole day. You will probably even try to copy the stand-up comedian to all your friends. Oh, I saw this this morning, the stand-up comedian. You will try to do the same joke and you probably won't succeed because being a stand-up comedian is also a profession and we can all try to be one. But yeah, most of us won't succeed. But at least it gave you a smile in the morning and you will keep smiling. You will be way more happy. Just start every day with a new comedian, with a new stand-up comedian, with some jokes, whatever it is, to make you smile. Even your worst night in the morning, waking up with a terrible headache or whatever, you know, if you drink some water and watch a stand-up comedian, everything will be fine again. So for me, the life tip for the day is watch a stand-up comedian in the morning uh, on my videos, <laughs> whatever you prefer, and your day will be better. And no, I'm not comparing my videos to a stand-up comedian because that's definitely not true. But yeah, if you want to be educated, then you could watch my videos. And if you want to be laughing, then you could be watching a stand-up comedian. And if you want to have a little bit of both, then watch a stand-up comedian and my videos and you will have an amazing day and probably a vest in Bitcoin as well so yeah what more do you want and when you start your day with a smile the day just is a little bit better and the second part is a little bit more serious so the inspirational part of the day you can lie down for people to walk on you but people will still complain that you're not flat enough it's very important to realize that whatever you do for other people they will always be complaining it's never good enough and if you experience this many times in life that everything is never good enough for other people, you should wake up and understand that you should be doing all that stuff for other people. Start to think a little bit more about yourself. You are the one that needs to be happy, not all those other people. You don't need to lie down for other people to walk over you and then complaining, oh, well, it's not flat enough. You should be the one that's telling them, hey, I'm not gonna lay down, let's search together for a better opportunity, a way flatter opportunity. Maybe let's search for some wood and put the wood over there or a tree or whatever it is. Why should I lie down always for you? Stand up for your rights. Stand up for what you want. Stand up for what you need. Don't let people walk over you. And don't let all those people influence your life. You are living your life the way you want to live your life because you need to live that life the way you want to live the life to feel internally happy. If you're living the life of other people, you will never feel internally happy. It's simple as that. And I know exactly what I'm talking about because I came from that life. I came from that life of always pleasing other people, making other people happy, making those people happy, making him happy, making your brother happy, your sister happy, your, fa your parents happy, your nephews, your friends, everyone needed to be happy. And I always forgot to think about myself. I was always in the last place. Still, I was a little bit happy, but that little bit happy still led into a huge burnout because I was only focusing on other people's happiness. When I started to think about myself and making myself happy without treating anyone bad, just not giving them any more that attention that I needed to give myself, that is the moment when everything changed. That's the moment when I became happier and happier and happier. That moment happened the first couple of months of our travel. Because when we started to travel to Thailand, to all those other countries, I didn't need to be concerned about everyone's happiness around me. I could really, truly focus on myself. I stepped out of that community, you know, family, friends, colleagues, that I always was entertaining, that I always wanted to keep happy. I was able to step outside of that box into this new box where I was just with my family. I could focus on keeping my family happy and myself. And I knew if I made myself very happy, that my family would become happy as well because they didn't want an unhappy dad. So I started to focus more and more on making myself happy. And yes, also by watching stand-up comedians and also looking at a lot of motivational videos, etc. But I made sure that I turned happy. And because I turned happy, at that moment, the whole family turned happy because they all depended kind of on my mood at that morning. Because believe me, if you have a huge burnout, you're not the happiest, you don't, you're not in the best mood. And yes, that will influence your whole family. I just made sure that stopped happening by making myself more happy, by starting to focus on myself. So my live advice or quote for today is, don't lie down for other people to complain that you're not flat enough. Start to focus on yourself. 
that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about everything else yes i know i start, i need to start walking on the beach again but the light here is just not beautiful but soon again we will be moving maybe to another place where the light is better guys thanks for watching i wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again